list of errands includes some very important things for a very important, not, not person, but a very special thing in my life, and that is Mr. Deputy Dewey. I actually don't have that apartment. I just live in his apartment, so I need to buy things for his kitchen right now. His kitchen and his bathroom. Let's, let's go do that at Petco. I am a dog person. I grew up with lots of dogs, and then when I got much older, my little sister moved in with me in my Manhattan apartment. She was insistent that we got a pet. A dog wasn't gonna work, so instead, she said we had to get a cat. And I wasn't really into cats. I don't like the idea of a cat. I'm a dog person, dogs only. But she's my baby sister, and what she says goes. So we did get a cat. We got, we got this guy here. This was Otto. Lonnie, my sister, made me get Otto, and I was not a happy camper because I had never had a cat, and even though I like all animals, I didn't think cats were as cuddly as puppies. And then sure enough, he grew on me, and he became my baby, but sad story. About three months after I got and fell in love with Otto, I found out he had FIP, which is not a condition that cats can recover from, but it's a condition where you can keep them as comfortable as possible and you can shower with them with love and make their short lives still wonderful. And that's what I did for him for about six months. I took really good care of Otto and I gave him his medicine and I hand fed him and all that. And eventually it came time to say goodbye to Otto and I was crushed. I was absolutely heartbroken, but my family was super supportive and eventually when when I kind of got over it, I mean I still think about him all the time, but when I was ready, they said that I should get a kitten and they took me to see Dewey and we saw Dewey. And even though I miss Otto and I think about him very often, I got Otto and he opened me up to getting cats and now I love that weirdo to death. He's the best, he is the best. I love Dewey so much, so thank you Otto for leading me to Dewey. We're here, let's go. This is all puppy food though. I want a puppy, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> She's yeah. putting a lot of effort into what she gets her cat, too. My least favorite thing to buy for him is definitely litter. It's like, I go to the gym, I'm pretty freaking fit. These boxes weigh so much. Dry food, got the litter levitating behind the camera right now. Now for the fun part. Let's go find Dewey a toy that he's never gonna play with, because he doesn't play with toys, but I still like buying them for him. He's got this, and we use that. He's got one of these. He's so spoiled. Bat the bobbing mice. Doesn't that sound like fun? The hide and go squeak has three mice that bob at different intervals to catch Kitty's interest, and all three mice squeak with the patented real mouse sound. The sound is so realistic, your cat will be sure she's on the hunt for the real thing. Get ready for a mouse bobbing critter batting good time. Look at that guy, look at that guy. A leopard gecko, I would name him, I would name him, let's name him Bob and put an O with two dots in it and call him Balb. <laughs> oh, look, there's a cricket over there. It's right over there. I wouldn't want to feed Balb. Got my big haul here. I had to trade back the bag of cat food I picked because apparently that was for older cats and they only had little baby sized ones for younger cats. So there we go. Do you have the car keys? <laughs> so I just completed some really hard work getting all of Dewey stuff. So now I must reward myself with some creation. Let's get some acai. According to the dictionary, acai is a South American palm tree producing small edible blackish purple berries. So then you have 
the amaze bowls, which is what creation calls them. And uh, the, one, the one I get is the choco bowl. Almond butter, banana, a little chocolate flavor. Ready to see this magic? Oh, it's so good, it's so good. All right, Dewey. Ready to see all your stuff? We have some wellness cube tuna entree. Dewey used to have a little variety in his diet, but then he decided to convey to me that he is not going to eat the salmon flavored anymore. So now we just get tuna. Gets half a can. Oh, someone's hungry? Is someone hungry? This must be the kind of satisfaction that grown adults get from cooking meals for real people. Dewey is about five years old. I don't know his exact birth date because where I got him from, they had told me he was about two, I think they told me he was about, was it four months old? And then the first thing I did after I got him was I took him straight to the vet to get checked. And they looked at his teeth and they told me that he was actually only two months old. But anyway, Dewey is roughly five years old now. And I celebrate every freaking day like it's his birthday. <laughs> Look at some, some old, old pictures here. And now here, here we've come to the day I met Mr. Dewey. For whatever reason, my iPhone only took blurry pictures that day. But even the most blurriness can't ruin his cuteness. Oh my, he is so tiny. I took him home in a cardboard box. Looks like there was a little wee wee pad on the bottom of it. I don't know why that was there, but <laughs> I don't think cats use wee wee pads. And here's a photo from his first visit to the vet. He was not a happy camper. One thing that is important about Dewey is Dewey is very much an indoor cat. So it goes when you raise a cat in a Manhattan apartment is that they don't go outside. But one year, I decided to take him outside because my building was holding a pet Halloween costume parade. Every single participant was a dog except for that cat right there. And I love dressing him up. He does not like to be dressed up. And I put like a goofy little pumpkin hat on him and we brought him downstairs and then we made my dad hold him and walk him down this like silly runway and everybody was looking at him. My poor dad was so embarrassed. He was the only cat participant. I thought they were gonna at least give him a third prize for just being the only cat and sucking it up, but he didn't get a prize, but he had a prize in my heart because he was a freaking cute pumpkin. And he was a cute box troll too. The artsy fartiest thing I've done in like the past five years is hand make him a costume. I took a box, because it's his favorite thing, and I drew like box troll stuff on it and I wrapped it around him and he was a box troll for Halloween one year. Dewey is a big talker. Dewey sounds like. I'll give you a good one. I'm right, you know I'm right. That is what he said. Look, he even looked at me, ready? Okay, that's it. That's it for the Dewey vlog. I figured you guys should get to know him now that we have the Dewey Dessa movie system. And he loves it. I hope you love it. I hope you love this little guy because he's going to be in a lot of these videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.